currently hiding out <laughs> at Grayson's preschool, waiting to be the mystery reader. I'm gonna read a book to his class. I'm waiting for him to come. <laughs> They're playing outside right now, so I'm hiding. Say hi, hi Gray. Hello. Grayson, who was your mystery reader today? You. It was me. Did you know it was going to be me? Yeah. Were you surprised? Yeah. Yeah. So we are back home, obviously, from preschool. I was Grayson's mystery reader today. I didn't really explain what that was. I kind of ran out of time, so I'll explain it now. Every Thursday, because he only goes to school Monday through Thursday, they have a mystery reader come the last 15 minutes of school, and the mystery reader comes and reads them a book of their choice. I really wasn't going to do it. That's just not me. I don't like, I mean, like I can read, but it's just intimidating. And I really didn't want to. I wasn't planning on doing it at all. And then like the mystery readers started happening. They've been happening since January. And he, he keeps asking me like, when are you going to do it, mom? When are you going to be the mystery reader? And then I saw, like, they take pictures with the kid, and then the kid gets to sit next to Mystery Reader. Like, it's a special, like, big deal. So then I was feeling bad, like, okay, I need to just, like, buck up and, like, make him feel special. Like, he's only in preschool once. Like, I don't know if they do this in kindergarten. So I was like, okay, fine. So I signed up, and I was like, I have to do it, like, before March, because by the time March comes, like, I'm going to be super pregnant. I mean, I'm super pregnant now. But I didn't want to like risk signing up and then like going into labor and missing it. So I did it today. It's the last Thursday of February. And like you guys saw, I was hiding out in the large muscle room because they were playing when I got to the school. They were playing outside. And then they came in and then they had me come to the door. And then they had to ask me questions to try to figure out who I was. So they heard my voice and nobody could guess who it was, but they knew it was a mommy. And then uh, they asked me what book I had. And I said it was Dandelion Magic. And Grayson recognized that book because we've had this book for a while now. <laughs> and then they said, they asked me if I had a boy frog or a girl frog. The frog class is his class. And I said a boy and Grayson felt pretty sure it was me. And then the last question they asked me was, what letter does your child's name start with? And I said G. And there's only one G name in his class, I think. I'm pretty sure. And so Grayson came out and it was me. And I came in and read to his class. His teacher took a picture of us, so I'll input that here. I read this book, Dandelion Ma Magic. I showed you guys it. It's a super cute book. We got it from the Dolly Parton Library. They send out free books once a month to each kid under five. Um, I thought Grayson got this book in the mail, but I just looked at the back and it was actually sent to Porter, funny enough. But it's a super cute book. It's about a little boy that finds a magical dandelion and he wishes for things. And, and it also encourages participation of the child. It has you blowing. It has you making scary faces at monsters, different things like that. I thought it was a cute book and the teacher actually really liked it too. So... I did my due diligence. I did my mystery reader. Gray keeps asking when daddy is going to come be the mystery reader. So we'll have to see if we can convince Anthony to do this. I, I really can't see it. Maybe he'll do it. I hear Porter upstairs. Maybe he will do it once like I'm home with the baby and he's on his paternity leave and like taking Gray to school anyway. But I still think that's a tough ask because I mean, it's hard like... You put yourself out there, you gotta pick a book, you gotta show up on time, you gotta like interact with kids, like it's a lot. So I did it and Grayson, he keeps asking me, who is the mystery reader? And I'm like, who was it? And he's like, it's you. He was so, so excited that I was the mystery reader. So doing it, like his reaction makes it worth it. Would I do it again? No, but I'm glad I did it. And they still have more signups. I think all of March is booked, but then they still have April open. There are some moms, do, most, it's usually mostly moms, sometimes dads, and sometimes grandparents. There's been a couple grandparents who have done it, but 
anyway, it was super fun and the kids loved it and I feel good about it. While Gray's at preschool, Porter and I ran some errands. We had to bring in the trash can for my parents because they're out of town right now. We had to um, return something at Target and I have been on the hunt for Easter things for the boys Easter baskets and I found like some things in the Target dollar spot so I was really pumped about that. I'll show you guys later what it is. I obviously can't really talk about it right now because the kids are here. And then we went to the car wash, washed the new car, vacuumed it a little bit because the kids, of course, spill food here and there. And then we went to Walmart. I found some more Easter stuff, candy, different things to put in the baskets. I was on the hunt for white shirts because we're going to do newborn pictures once this baby comes and we're going to do a family shot and usually it's prettiest if everybody's like in white we did that for porter's pictures and i love them so i'm trying to find white like casual white shirts for the boys to wear but not like too casual if you know what i mean so i looked at target and I looked at walmart and i didn't see anything so i'm gonna have to go look online but i've been on the hunt for that i'm just trying to like get stuff figured out before it gets too close to the due date <laughs> i have my next doctor's appointment on monday today's thursday so a couple more days so that'll be good. Um, so yeah, it's been a really productive morning. Anthony's at the office, so he's not here. Also, today is like unseasonably warm. They say it's gonna get to a high of 70, which is honestly crazy because the north half of the country is getting pounded in snow, like 20 plus inches of snow. But we in Ohio are just missing it. We got a bunch of rain yesterday from the storm, but that was it. And now we have this really warm front coming through. So I think after nap time, we'll go out to a park, either one of our neighborhood parks, or maybe we'll drive to a park and do that for the afternoon. Um, take advantage because after today, I think it's going to get cold again. Not like super cold, but like 40s and 50s. Not like, let's go outside all day warm. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'll definitely pull out the camera. I'll show you guys the Easter stuff, and then I'll show you guys us playing at the park, whatever we decide to do. I'll let the kids decide. I feel like I gotta take them out to the parks and all this stuff now because when baby girl comes, it's gonna take me a little bit to like feel confident enough to take three kids to the park by myself. I remember, I can still vividly remember the first time I took both the, the kids out. When I took um, both Grayson and Porter to the park for the first time by myself, I picked like the tiniest little park and I felt so proud of myself after I did that. I don't know how I'm gonna do it with three kids. I think it's gonna be really, really hard. So if you have any tips and tricks for taking three kids to the park, it'll be a five-year-old, a two-year-old, and a newborn, or a couple months old, depending on how long it takes me to get the courage. Let me know. Thankfully, we are going into the summer, and so my sister is a teacher, so, so she will have the summer off, so hopefully she can come to the parks with me and Anthony gets six weeks of paternity leave at his company, so hopefully he can help me. Like, I, I just want to try to keep the boys' schedule and, like, keep life normal for them, even though we have a new baby, but I know that's really hard to do. So it's going to be a uh, balance for sure. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you about that mystery reader. I feel so good about it. I'm rocking it at the mom thing, you know. <laughs> And uh, next week, Grayson has Spirit Week. It's book week. I think it's like Dr. Seuss week. And so his preschool does Spirit Week during that week. So Monday is Silly Sock Day. So we need to go look in his sock drawer and try to find silly socks for him to wear on Monday. So always something going on in our house. Um, but I just wanted to vlog and I'll pull out the camera in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's nap time. I'm up in my bedroom. This is where I'm hiding all the Easter basket stuff. It, I'm hiding it in my closet, like up high where the kids can't reach it. I don't really know where else to hide it. I guess I could hide it in like the present room, which is in the basement under the stairs, but I don't know. I just put them in my closet. So I'll show you guys what I got. The kids, like I said before, most of the stuff I got from the Target dollar spot or Walmart. So each thing is like pretty cheap. I think the most expensive thing I got were like this set of bath bombs that were each like 
$4.95 each or something. Everything else was like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, because why are you spending a bunch on Easter baskets? That's silly. So I basically think I have everything I need. Only thing I'm missing is I usually get the kids books. Usually around this time, around Easter or beginning of March, Meyer always puts um, Dr. Seuss books on sale for pretty cheap. A couple dollars here, a couple dollars there. So I like to get one for each kid. My kids love Dr. Seuss books. They're super cute. They rhyme. So we're, I'm trying to like collect them all. So those are the only things I have not got so far. So I plan on going maybe next week while Gray's at preschool and looking at seeing if they have the books out yet. But I'll show you what I have so far. Uh, I got these from the Target Dollar Spot. So cute. They're little bubble ones. I got a carrot one and I got an Easter bunny one. These are just bubble ones. My kids love bubbles and they were a dollar in the Target Dollar Spot so I could not resist. Super easy. I feel like I get these every year for my kids. These are just Imagine Ink Color Wonder. I got this math one for Grayson because he's super into math right now. So I thought he would like that. And then I got this one for Porter. It's a little easier. It's just numbers, but you just basically it's mess free. You color them. It only colors on the paper and my kids love them. I saw this in the Target dollar spot too. I think this was $3. It's called bath slime soap. I'm really not sure exactly what this is, but I thought my kids would really like it. I guess it's like slime you can use in the bath. I don't know if it's like multi-use or one use. I'm not really sure, but they only have blue, pink, or purple. So I just got two blue ones for the kids. I'm sure they'll like that. Something to play with. They're always looking for bath toys. So, and I always like the Crayola brand. So all of that is what I got at the Target dollar spot. I think the most I paid was like $3. These were $3 and these were $3 and then these were a dollar each. At Walmart, I got more candy. So I got each of the kids these uh, Reese's Pieces eggs. These are my absolute favorite Easter candy. When I think of Easter, I think of these. My mom would always put tons of these eggs in our Easter baskets every year and I love them. They are so good. So if my kids don't eat them, I will. These used to be a dollar and they're actually like a dollar thirty at Walmart. I was kind of disappointed, but inflation, I guess. So I got one for each kid. Of course, you have to do that. I got one of the kids. I'm not sure which one. Uh, Starburst jelly beans. You have to do jelly beans for Easter, right? I thought it was cute. It comes with a little Easter bunny and no matter which kid gets it, like they can share. And then the other one I got was a gummy bear one my kids love gummy bears they take vitamins that basically look like gummy bears and so i thought this they would really enjoy this so i'm gonna give one of them the gummy bears and one of them the jelly beans and then they can share and switch these little eggs were a dollar they just have skittles in them i love skittles so if they don't eat them i will so i got two of those and then like I said, this is probably the most expensive thing I got out of everything. These are like $4.95 or something. And it's bath bombs. My kids love bath bombs. They love changing the color in the bathtub. They love watching the bath bombs fizz. So I got one for each kid. And they are going to be pumped about that. They will love those. So all in all, these are all the things I got for my kids. Like I said, I think it's pretty good. I got a little bit of candy, a little bit of activities, a little bit of everything. Only thing I'm missing is a book for each. Usually I include things for summer like uh, swimsuits or sunglasses, but my mom just got the kids sunglasses, so they don't need that. Swimsuits I've already gotten like through Black Friday deals, so... I don't really feel like giving them more sunscreen I could do. I saw like band-aids that I could do, but like we still have band-aids from like two Christmases ago. So yeah, I just kind of kept it a little more simple this year with just cheap things I could find. Um, I'm sure I'll keep looking. I'm starting this super early. It's February, end of February. And obviously Easter this year is in April. But with baby girl coming, I just wanted to have as much done in preparation as possible because I know I'm not going to have 
the opportunity or the time to go out and shop for Easter. So that's why I did that today. And like I said, I just need to get the books. And then I think I should be good. I might add something here or there for them. But I'm not really sure what else I would add. They had bubble guns at in the Target dollar spot for like $3. But I just got them a bubble gun. So they have that. So I don't know. If you guys have any ideas on other things I should include in there. Easter baskets, let me know. But this honestly right here is like more than enough for them. So I'm pretty happy with what I found today. We made it to the park. We're making music. We've gone down the slides. It is 70 degrees out and it is February 23rd. This is wild. It never gets this warm. February Yeah. Get some energy out. There's a small drum, a medium drum, and a big drum. Mm-hmm. There's a small drum, there's a big drum, and a big drum. Yeah. I just don't know how I'm going to do it with three kids, you guys. He's ran over there. Thankfully, Porter likes to follow Gray, but I just don't know how I'm going to do it with three. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to have to do really little parks every time it does look like the teacup ride huh 